The long-awaited road project in a Greek area of Ikorodo West's local council development area, which will connect Owutu to the Arepo area of Ogun State, has finally taken off. The responsibility per se is to get people to be aware of the situation of things. We do this, we give them information that allow tension to go down. Some people felt, oh, maybe it's all over. We tell them it is not all over. With this, life is even going to improve. There is no problem that does not have its own opportunity. Owutu Ishawa Road has been a nightmare to its residents and visitors alike. This is because movement of vehicles and commuters on the ever busy road is difficult. Pedestrians find it hard to get space to walk. Traders struggle to sell their wares. Commercial drivers often fight amongst themselves for the right of way. This is due to the deplorable state of the road network, a development which happens as more people settled in the area. This Lagos community update was told is a total contrast with the situation before modernity came. <laughs> But times have changed. Industries have arrived. Workers who were employed by them rent homes to be close to work. A larger and more complex community grew. Members of the community loved the development, but they hoped that the government would expand the roads to accommodate the massive influx. At various fora, they brought their hopes and aspirations to the attention of the Ambody administration. For an administration committed to inclusive development, the clamor struck the right chord in the governor, Mr. Akiumi Ambody. Sooner than expected, the resident heard the announcement that the government had decided to rebuild and expand the road. Baba Governor Ambody, you want to watch Dubai? development the rate of the rent will increase. So, we see that you pay for our money. Either we like it or not, because development in the community or in the town brings so many good things to the community. As we are saying, when we have a development community or a, 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 a town or a, a, a place. Yeah, as we are looking at all these places, there is no bank, there is no restaurant, there is no uh, shop right, there is not everything. The think they are constructing the roads now, since they are constructing the roads now, we must surely have all those things in place. So we want the governor please to continue his work. When the crew of Lagos Community Update visited the site, skeletal work had begun on the road. The contractor, I take, has moved in materials. The dream that Ikorodu Road, which happens to be the only route for commuters going to Ikeja and Lagos, will be decongested, is set to become a reality. The residents of this uh, Ishawo, this community, on this road project, they've been briefed, they've agreed collectively to sacrifice anybody that this construction affected because every one of them knows that what the Lagos State Government is doing is a pride to this community. Everybody wants development. And it's a good thing. Our community has already prepared to sacrifice because uh, without 
uh, sacrificing, you cannot get good uh, things. The road will also serve as an alternative route for commuters to Bega, Ikeja and the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. But there is no pain without gain. For such a massive development in the settlement of many decades, houses will be affected. The government has promised to compensate affected persons. With the anxiety that their homes may soon go down to pave way for this facelift, there were fears that our crew may not be welcome. But what we met shows the readiness of a community willing to sacrifice all for the betterment of not just all, but also cooperation with the Ambadis brand of community development. <laughs> The landscape of the community is gradually changing for good in preparation for the change the people yearned for. We gathered that the roads will be a dual carriageway, having two lanes on each side with laybys in some areas. The construction work is also projected to improve value of properties and security in the area. I wouldn't say I'm uh, over happy, really excited. It is a dream we have dreamed for a very long time. And uh, it is nothing but a reality to us. We've been waiting for it for a very long time and it has come. We praise God for that. And we want to thank the governor for listening to us. It's a listening governor. I'm sure it's the kind of governor that everybody wants to be.